my lovely people, how are you all doing today? I hope you're good. Uh, this is going to be a quick video. And by the way, if you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Ifi. I'm based here in United Kingdom. Thank you for watching. Please, um, it's going to be very quick. Over the weekend, uh, we, last weekend, we celebrated a Mothering Sunday or Mother's Day, as some people call it. And um, I just want to do a quick uh, video regarding people who actually were not happy uh, that day because I've been in that situation where I lost my, uh, my own mom at the age of 17. And I remember vividly when we were in secondary school, myself, we were in secondary school at the time, myself and my younger sister we were in the same school. Each time people are celebrating Modern Sunday, their own moms will come, bring food, bring things to their children, and they will all celebrate and everything. And we do, we never looked forward to Modern Sundays those days because it was always a time of sadness for us. But thank God for a woman who actually took us as her own children and each time a, she, had, she um, didn't have any child in that school but she always uh, cooks her lovely jollof rice and comes to visit myself and my sister and so we did not lose out although it, wasn't, it didn't make it any better because we needed our own mom but the fact that she stood in and did that for us helped us a lot to deal with the trauma of the modern Sunday because it's just a big thing. It's just so much noise made about that. And we never really think about uh, those who do not have uh, their own moms, especially when they are young. You know, I'm now old and, and you know, I don't say um, it's not a problem now when you have your own children and you move, you've moved on in life. But so I just paused uh, over the last few days when I was listening to Mark Mero. Me, M E R O. He was talking about he said emotional mo uh, mother, uh, mother's uh, day story. That's what he entitled it. As he was telling his story, how he was just a uh, sort of wayward, not listening to his mother, and uh, banged the door when the mother uh, wants to advise him and all the rest of it. And then reality set in when he lost his mom. And he was telling these stories, I think, to school children because I could see some of the children tearing up. You know, some of them shedding tears as he was telling his story. I also shed, uh, shed tears myself because uh, I, I, I am very emotional that way. When things are really emotional, things are being said like that, I really get so emotional. Uh, especially when it, it has to do with children. I don't like children being mal maltreated or anybody as a matter of fact. I love uh, people to be treated equally and nicely. So I get so emotional with things like that. So... Going back to my story, so at that time, yes, I uh, thank God for our, uh, our lovely uh, father who took care of us very, very well. But, you know, a father can never uh, take the uh, place of a mother, but uh, he did his best. And then, and they obviously introduced a father, Father's Day in Nigeria. I don't think, I can't even remember when father, Father's Day was introduced in Nigeria. I can't remember us ever celebrating our dad I think it's something that came up after we've all left home and got married but anyway we always phone home to celebrate him for this why he was alive when um, they started the father's day anyway so I just thought over the weekend I did my little dance and showed ourselves in the church where we are celebrating and laughing and smiling and it dawned on me when I heard some uh, new you know, stories about people who actually were very sad uh, that day it reminded me of my own teenage years when i lost my mom and how i was feeling at the time it, i dreaded mothering sunday i don't even like that word being mentioned you know so it just dawned on me that there are people in similar situations during this period i know we celebrated mothering sunday that's for anglican church i don't know about the other um, about, about Roman Catholics. I don't know when they celebrate theirs. And I know that in America, they celebrate theirs in May. But in over here in UK and Nigeria, it was celebrated last Sunday, uh, the last Sunday of March. So I just, I'm just here to say to, uh, to those people, because there's lots of people out there who lost their moms or even their parents. Um, I don't know whether I've mentioned it before in my channel that we have acquired daughter who we acquired in 2016 she um 
and she she's an orphan she was an orphan while she's still an orphan obviously even though we're taking her over so to her she feels that she now has her parents and we have taken her as one since 2016 and we are training her and her other uh, siblings uh, we also help them as much as we can but there are millions and billions out there in similar situation and our prayer is that we'll be able to take more in because that's our ministry that's what we like doing to be where people are so this um as i say so people a lot of people are in that situation and we have to think about them so i just i just paused because i knew my situation uh, many years ago when i was in that um when I, I i lost my mom and i was so sad during mothering sundays so when we celebrate mothering sundays or even father's uh, day, uh, day we have to remember that there are children there are people who do not have parents or who do not have either and they're going to be feeling sad on those days we have to remember them in our thoughts have them in our thoughts and remember them in our prayers and that's exactly what i've been doing uh, uh, this period and i have these bible verses to help to to, for those people, if you know anybody, you can just pass this, uh, in, this information and these Bible verses to them. There are various, numerous Bible verses, but these are the ones I just uh, picked up in Psalm 48, verse 14. He said, for this God, our Lord, for is our God forevermore. He will be our guide even to death. Yeah, he will be our guide in, even to death. That's Psalm 48, 14. And Isaiah 41, 10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will uplift you with my right hand. That's Isaiah 41, 10. And Isaiah 66, verse 13 says, As one whom... His mother comforts, so I will comfort you. Yeah, as one whose his mother comforts, I will comfort uh, comfort you. That's um, Isaiah sixty six verse thirteen. And then the last one I want to share is Isaiah. Sorry, Psalm eighteen verse two. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock. Who, in whom I take refuge. The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge. Let us hold on to these uh, comforting words for those who are hurting. It, it may not even be that you lost your mom. It may be that you lost a child. Maybe you lost a very close uh, family member. At this time, I just want to remember you all and remember everyone and put everyone in my thoughts and in my prayers that God who comforts everyone will comfort everyone. I know I do a happiness video. Yes, we have to be happy. We try as much as possible to be happy all the time, but there are times that we can't help but to be sad but we must not let our sadness linger for a very long time if we can thank you so much as i say it's a very short video just to bring this out as we celebrate celebrated mothering sunday to pause and think about those who were not who did not actually celebrate or instead they cried through that day Thank you so much for listening. Please share this video and remember to give me a thumbs up. As I say, I always want my views and my thumbs up to be equal. Please, um, it's always good to do that. And I make sure I also do that for people. Thank you once again for watching. God bless you. And I'll be on live stream tomorrow. We're going to discuss something quite interesting. So join me. And live stream tomorrow, Sunday the second. Yes, Sunday the third of um, April. We have a live stream. So join me and we'll discuss something very, very interesting. See you then and God bless you. Goodbye. <music>